Scott, founder of Wabi Skincare, and it's really great to see everyone again. Today's video blog is going to be about how you can use some of Wild Beauty's aromatherapeutic products. Uh, the first product that we're going to work with, and it's the very first one that I introduced, was the Lavender Vanilla Body Oil. Can you see that? There we go, much better. Um, it has extra virgin olive oil, lavender flower buds, lavender essential oil, vanilla. It's one of my favorites because it's so relaxing, especially after a stressful, stressful day at work. You know, when you get out of the shower and you apply this and you just feel so good. You can feel the vanilla essential oil and the vanilla therapeutic flowers of the ingredients and the oils from the flower as well. Just going to your core, going to your nervous system and just shutting it down and relaxing and you can just feel the stress leaving your body. And the vanilla brings a smile to your face. It's such a warm and inviting fragrance. And the virgin olive oil, it's really the hypoallergenic way to moisturize. It's great for everyone's skin, and it's one of my favorite, favorite products that we have. Today we're going to make a rice body scrub using the body oil. So first thing I'm going to get you to do is get some cooked rice. You can use rice from that's left over from dinner from last night, or you can make it. But if you make it, just make sure it cools off because we don't want you to burn yourself. And if it's from last night's dinner, you know, just heat it up, nuke it in the microwave for 30, 60 seconds, just to knock the cold off. Because we don't want you burning yourselves. This is not what this is about. This is about using what's in your kitchen and how to incorporate our products into making some of the best skincare for you that you can do yourself. So let's begin. So I used long grain rice. You can use Uncle Ben's or whatever you want. It's your personal preference. You can use brown rice. I used uh, organic, cane sh or can organic cane sugar, which is, this one's from Whole Foods, but you can use granulated sugar, doesn't matter, as long as it's really fine. The next ingredient is rice flour, and I really like rice flour because it has like a grittiness to it, and it's really great for exfoliating your skin. It gives you just a little extra scrub without scratching the surface of your skin, like some of the other uh, scrubs that are out there. And what I like about this scrub is that as soon as it puts you, it goes on your skin, the rice and the rice flour and the sugar, it all works together. Because as soon as the sugar hits your skin, it starts dissolving. So this is one of the reasons why I love this scrub. A little goes a very long way. And we're going to make enough for one scrub. So, we have some rice here. See, see, see? And we're going to take a half a cup of the cooked rice. And I just usually scoop it in with a spoon. Pat it down. Cheating, I'm going to put it in there. There. Have a go. Bang. I like using the glass bowls. Plastic bowls have a way of absorbing the fragrance and it's really hard to get out when you're washing. Glass bowls don't do that. It, insert, it, it immediately, into a little bit of work, not much soap, water, bam, it's done. Doesn't have the lingering fragrance. Next, we're going to use a fourth of a cup of sugar. Next, we're going to use one teaspoon of white flour. You know, and it doesn't have to be an exact science. You don't have to measure it out to the T. You know, this is all about what suits your personal preference. So here, we're going to use one, we're going to use one tablespoon. And because the oil is so small, but it goes so far, you don't need much. So we're going to do two tablespoons. One. Two. Just that simple. Just that easy. Mix it up. See, here I am, mixing it up. And the sugar and the rice and the rice flour, it just absorbs the oil. And as soon as the water hits it, it's like a rush and a burst of fragrance, a burst of just amazing, feel good, moisturizing, hydrating sugar scrub. Now for me, I'm gonna put just a little bit more in of the oil. Some people like it really oily. I don't like it too oily, but you can add up to four, ta four tablespoons. I prefer three. And don't worry, at the end of this, we have the recipe for you as well. There we go, and done. You have a nice moisturizing body scrub. And I let it sit usually for about 30 seconds so it can really just absorb in. So while that's sitting, I'm going to go and I'm going to spray some water on me. That's my toner that I like to use. Let's get that out of there. Okay, so here we go. 
spring one. Now that we've let the rice sugar scrub marinate for just a bit, I'm not going to use much. You don't need really that much for this. I'm going to use this much, probably about the size of a 50 cent piece. See it? And I just apply it to my arm. And it literally, and I'm not kidding you, you can use this little bit for your whole arm. And what I like about this is that the rice, it doesn't break up like the sugar. It doesn't melt so badly. And the starch from the rice flour, it just binds everything together. Now, see? See the difference in my arms? Okay. Now we're going to wash off. I still want you to see the difference in my arms. Look at that. So I have a top here, and what I like about this is that already my skin is so shiny, I used what, maybe about the size of a 50 cent piece, and my arm, I just love the way it looks, I love the way it feels, and it doesn't take a lot. And it doesn't take a lot, and that's one of the reasons why I really love this scrub. It's a great scrub for after work, uh, cleaning up is even simple because the rice and the flour and the sugar, it do, it sits there, you know, and the floor on your tub, it's not slippery. So you don't have to worry about busting your butt, you know, walking out the tub. And if you want, you know, hey, use your foot scrub, use it as a foot scrub, it's there. Just, you know, wipe your foot back and forth a couple of times, go back and forth, get the dead skin cells. Where you step out, hit that water, wash off your feet, step out after. Just that simple. And I guess the cleanup is easy. Grab a uh, paper towel, a napkin, and just scoop it up. You don't want to go it down the drain. Yeah, some of it will, but the majority of it will stay right there in the bathtub. Scoop it on up, throw it in the trash. Take a little bit of, you know, cleaning detergent, clean out your bathtub, make sure the oils and sugars and rice is all out. Wash it down the drain. Just that simple. So, this concludes today's video about how to make a rice sugar body scrub with Bobby's Aromatherapeutic Oil. Like I said, this one is lavender vanilla. You can use any. You can use basil, sage, and mint. You can use chamomile neroli. We have two new ones coming out September 1st, which is pink rose petals and white tea. And another one is cocoa bean vanilla. Both are fantastic. You can go to shop.wildbeautyskincare.com, type in this code, rice sugar scrub all one word you get 20 percent off your next order you can find us on facebook wild beauty products you can also find us on twitter um well today i've had a lot of fun showing this really quick simple recipe and at the end of the video we'll have the video we'll have this recipe posted up so you guys enjoy your day and remember mother nature has the answers to beautiful healthy skin all we have to do is listen bye from la Thank you.